in the last video I was looking at um, this table of data band controls in this video I'll be looking at different table of data band controls which are the um, the grid view and um, data list the data list and uh, there are four of them the repeater and one more which is the list view the list view okay so let's go through this one um just like I said the last time uh, the the controls that we look at we can only display one item at a time from our database but uh, as you can see this grid view we are allow us to display more than one item so let's use the same uh, we can also enable paging we can also enable sorting editing deleting and selection so um, at the moment let's see what this looks like uh, we might get an error because um, um, I won't be surprised anyway yeah we haven't got it. so we can sort our records uh, based on first name or last name or the user ID so um, remember I was talking about creating an application that mimic eBay so this can be used <laughs> but you're not going to allow people to edit or delete <laughs> bid <laughs> uh, bid listings anyway so we can edit uh, this one and say uh, beautiful you need <laughs> say update and uh, we that will be updated in uh, database we can delete a record let's find a record to delete just delete that one it's deleted uh, we can uh, select selection means it's going to be the one that is selected but because I don't have any um, uh, what's it called anyway yeah so you can sort you can delete you can edit and you can select high time so as you can see if you have all the records if you have more than 10 records we'll be able to see the paging on it so you can go from the first page to the second page and so on and so forth so just think ebay um another one that we can use is the data list with data list we also render our set of data items in form of uh, html table um, but the difference between data list and the previous one as you can see here we can only display one record per row but data list allow you to display one record um, we can display more than one record more than one data item can be displayed in a, sing in a single row let me explain what I mean to you it's always good to explain by example because these things are very confusing isn't it so let's run the application and see the difference between the two as you can see this is one row it's got three data items isn't it this is another row another three data items so this one one row one data item so that's the difference between them so this one display more data items per row so if you want your uh, um, your data to be displayed in this form you can use the this uh, let's do something really quick let me give them background color so we can s have a, c a quick distinction between them uh, you have this background color it will be that yellow okay so uh, let's look at the next which is the repeater the repeater no matter the repeat with the repeater nothing is created for you you have to go inside and write your own uh, code so for example uh, you see it said switch to source view to edit the controls template you have to go into the source view and edit the controls template it doesn't generate any view for you automatically so you have to go inside and um, let's see how they are allowed um, if I go there and so ASP repeater you can see you have the item template that you can uh, modify yourself so item template let's copy the item template from inside this place from inside one of the other controls let's place inside the repeater control so let's see what that looks like now as you can see 
uh, our repeater controls now mimic our previous controls because uh, we've edited the oh sorry what did I just do okay let me bring that back up uh, let me stop and run it again um, yes as you can see that uh, repeater has mimicked our um, because we copy values from the item template so uh, the repeater control doesn't generate any view for itself you have to go inside and modify the view yourself so which gives you a lot of uh, flexibility it gives you a lot of flexibility because uh, you can use a lot of HTML in here you can arrange them so that instead of uh, uh, align instead of coming um, one after the other you can actually use div tag and CSS to format your record to your uh, to your heart content so now let's go look at the next control which is the list view the list view uh, is also allow you to do the paging editing and sorting database but uh, it has another feature as well you said uh, you have to configure list view uh, because it comes with a pre-selected it said choose the choose the configure list view task to select a layout once the item template and layout template are created you may choose a view from the current view task menu to edit template content so let's follow this before we do that let's see what it looks like so as you can see you cannot that's what I'm trying to show you you will not be able to view the list view until you actually do what it says here you have to choose the configure uh, list view so when you choose the configure list view you have a choice to uh, let's choose a, a colorful colorful okay you have a choice to use any of this the grid view the tiled let's use the tile let's choose that one for now let's enable editing inserting deleting and paging so you have two choices numeric pager or next previous pager so let's see what it looks like at the moment uh, let's preview that in a browser so as you can see you have a lot of flexibility in what type of uh, data band controls that you want to use to display your data look at, look at this now it's very simple now we can insert a new record into our database now let's think about we have another more more asham so let's insert that into the database so that has been inserted now we get another option we have honey reduce let's insert that into the record as you can see we're inserting data into the record into the record so we can delete that we can edit we can delete we can edit so and uh, we get these things really uh, nice so if you have more than 10 records then we can do the next record next record uh, you know so uh, let's see our database to make sure that um, what we're doing is actually being populated into a database so let me refresh the data page uh, sorry database and show table data <coughs> as you can see um, we had the uh, Mo Hasham and Ali Odus and uh, they've both been had into our database so that is the um, how to use the this is the list view is very has a lot of flexibility because you can yeah, let's let's choose uh, to configure it again configure list view you can see we can use the grid almost like the grid view let's choose that enable paging enable sorting enable that and that and let's choose the colorful and grid okay so uh, yeah let's regenerate that it's asking if you want to regenerate yes which I want to so as you can see we've got another view so um, to be honest with you it's, it depends on what you want to try and achieve um, so you have a lot of options on um, what data band controls that you want to use on your page so um, um, I hope this has uh, I hope you've learned something new on how to use database and database controls on your page but I'm going to be getting into the details and deeper um, uh, uh, features of database thank you